Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.7 in our 4th grade Florida Go math books. Lesson 12.7 is about metric units of mass and liquid volume. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 471 as we go along. Alright, so it tells us here that mass is the amount of matter in an object. Metric units of mass, so the way that we would measure mass, is with kilograms and grams. Liters and milliliters are metric units of liquid volume. So if we were to measure liquid volume, we would use liters or milliliters. So here are our important charts that tell us the rule for solving these types of problems. It tells us that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So if I'm changing kilograms to grams, I'm going to multiply the number that's in front of the kilogram by 1,000. And liters, the second chart, shows me 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So my rule is to multiply whatever's in front of the liters by 1,000, and that will give me milliliters. So we're basically just multiplying by 1,000 for all of these, and that's pretty easy because you can just do whatever the number is times one and add three zeros after it. So for example, in example one, Becky planted a flower garden full of blue bonnets. She used nine kilograms, so we're over here on this chart. How many grams is that? So the number in front of kilograms is nine, so I'm just gonna take nine and multiply it by a thousand, which gives me nine thousand. So Becky used 9,000 grams of soil to plant her blue bonnets. Example two, we're going to be on our second chart over here. Becky used five liters of water to water her blue bonnet garden. How many milliliters of water is that? So we're changing liters into milliliters. The number in front of liters is five. So I'm just going to do five times a thousand, which is 5,000. So Becky used 5,000 milliliters of water. All right, really quickly, let's go over this to just kind of get an idea in our head of what these things mean. Are kilograms larger or smaller than grams? Well, we look at our chart over here. One big kilogram is equal to 1,000. It would take 1,000 grams to equal up to one kilogram. So the kilograms are larger than the grams. So will the number of grams be greater than or less than the number of kilograms? Greater than, you're going to have to have more grams to equal up to the kilograms. And what operation will you use to solve the problem? What operation means what kind of math are you doing? We're multiplying. So lesson 12.7 is pretty simple. All you're doing to change from kilograms to grams and liters to milliliters is taking the number that's in front and multiplying it by a thousand. So if you're in my class, you should have filled out page 471. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.